News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. A police chase from Harlan to Letcher County and back to Harlan County ended with one man in custody and two women injured. Zachary Lockhart was finally arrested this afternoon in Harlan County and is facing multiple charges. WYMT's Emily Bennett shows us video of the chase as it went through Whitesburg. Oscar McCowan was repairing a roof when he heard sirens. At least nine or 10 or 12 cars and trucks and everybody was chasing him. Then he wondered what it was about. I didn't know first if it wasn't a training exercise, but then I seen some of the hand gestures he was giving them as he went by and I pretty much figured it was it. Here is footage from McCowan of the chase. Police say it started in downtown Harlan after Zachary Lockhart drove away after hitting two stopped vehicles. The vehicles were stopped and the impact actually pushed them approximately four to six feet from where they originally stopped at. Two women were injured and taken to the hospital. Police chased Lockhart from Harlan to Whitesburg and back across the Harlan County line. He was ramming police cars. He was driving dangerously, running people off the roadway. Uh, his, his mentality was like an animal to escape no matter what the cost was. Until they finally got him stopped. He could not go anywhere once we uh, engaged the strips and he made contact with those and uh, we knew that it was just a matter of time that he would have to stop. Multiple departments were involved in the chase, including city, county, and state police. It was a joint effort because none of us have enough men to do it by ourselves, but all of us working together, we can, we can do the job. Lockhart was taken to the hospital after his arrest and is now in the Harlan County Detention Center. In Harlan and Letcher counties, Emily Bennett, WYMT Mountain News. We are told Lockhart is from Kingsport, Tennessee. He's facing many charges, including assault and wanton endangerment. You can see a full list of his charges on WYMT.com. Now to Perry County, where the man who dialed 911 for what turned out to be a murder Sunday night in Hazard says he's still shocked about what happened. Zachary Smith says he called the police after someone staying at the Hope House homeless shelter told him someone had died. The person says Anthony Lewis snuck in during the early morning hours and that someone saw Lewis and told him that they believed he had killed someone. And she ended up telling me, like, straightforward, like, what happened. And that's when I called the cops. You know, you wouldn't expect that out of him. The Hope House is currently closed. This came following multiple threats against the facility yesterday. Tomorrow, there will be a closed meeting with city officials and agencies helping the homeless. In less than one month, the Martin County Sheriff's Office may only have one employee. That's according to Sheriff John Kirk. He says starting August 5th, he will be the only member of the department on payroll. Kirk is concerned because he spends more time handing out eviction notices and handling property taxes than being on patrol. It's not about a salary. We're not, we are here to represent the people. We're not here to represent ourselves. We're not here to get rich. We're not an employment agency. We don't just keep adding employees to inflate the payroll. We have to serve the people. We have to do something. I mean, we, we can't, you know, we need to be able to answer that call. We need to be out here patrolling. We need, we need proactive law enforcement instead of reactive. We can't even hardly be reactive. Kentucky State Police will handle a majority of the calls in Martin County. That post is also responsible for Floyd, Johnson, McGoffin, and Pike counties. Multiple thefts in Floyd County are making some feel unsafe tonight. WYMT's Marion Fletcher talked with one woman who says she never thought this would happen to her. A string of thefts. Because we had never had anything stolen there before. Bicycles, dirt bikes, and lawnmowers stolen from Floyd County homes. And you just can't trust people anymore. Now Angie Hamilton is worried after someone stole her nephew's dirt bike. Well, they probably sold it by now to get the drugs. And his home is not the only one targeted. The drugs have took over. Kentucky State Police Trooper William Petrie says the theft rate is up. We've had a, a spike in the past few days. But you can protect your home by having cameras like Hamilton. 
people will get out during the day and, and go around and look for things that are sitting out, especially in the front yards or easy access. They can run up and grab them. And keeping your prized possessions under lock and key are also ways to protect yourself. I would advise anybody that's got anything outside that they don't want took to lock it down. Keeping a watchful eye on her things and her family. Hopefully I get it back. In Floyd County, Marion Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. No matter how big or small, if you've had something stolen, officials ask you to report it to your local police department. The Harlan community continues to support the Black Jewel coal miners as they continue to wait for their paychecks. Panda Garden in Harlan was among several businesses today helping the miners get back on their feet. Owner Joyce Chang said she hoped that she would sell $510 mini buffet boxes and donate the proceeds to Black Jewel miners. Most of my family has been in the coal mines. My dad did. My aunt even went in for about three years. So it, it's pretty important to me, and I'm saying it's pretty important to a lot of people here. Joyce Chang's goal was to raise another $5,000. We do not know yet if she made her goal. We've seen those scattered rain chances throughout the day, and it looks like those are going to con are continuing into those overnight hours as well. We'll go ahead and take a look at satellite and radar where we've seen that line of showers and storms are really another one that has moved through this evening, and some of us a little soggy this evening as well. You'll notice pinpoint Doppler, some heavier rain starting to move into parts of Perry County, but especially as we look over into parts of Jackson County, a little bit into northern Rock Castle County. That's going to start to move in in just a little bit, even over into parts of Owsley County. You also notice if we look at our friends down into parts of Pulaski and Wayne County, they do have that flash flood warning. Now that goes until about 1145. I think we'll see that expire, but over the past, really this showing over the past three hours, they've seen just some very, very heavy downpours in that area. I haven't gotten any reports of some flooding yet, but definitely could be possible with just how much rain they've seen this evening. Temperatures not too bad, anywhere from about those low to mid 70s. It's really where we'll stay as we head into the overnight hours, right near 70 degrees. Hang on to that 40% chance of some scattered showers and storms. Hopefully those diminish a little bit as we head into your Thursday. I'll look at that full forecast coming up in just a few short minutes. Steve. All right. Thank you, Paige. And as we just started talking, the rain starts falling over top of us here in Hazard. You can hear it hitting the roof. Well, Kentucky Sports Radio was in Pikeville today. Bell County native Matt Jones and Ryan Lemon were at Buffalo Wild Wings in front of a packed crowd. The crew touched on a hot topic right off the bat. Host Matt Jones being temporarily removed from his TV show, Hey Kentucky, because he is eyeing the U.S. Senate race in 2020. But his decision has not been made, and it may take a little while longer. You know, I really appreciate the support, and if I do it, I'm going to let me say this. If I do it, I'm going full bore. I'm not doing it just to do it. I'm doing it to win, and I will put all my effort into it. Jones has until December to officially file. Five Star Pizza of Zebulon has partnered with People's Gas to raise money for organizations in Pike County. Today, the partnership resulted in a $1,000 donation to the Johns Creek Disabled American Veterans. The restaurant sold 1,000 pizzas during the partnership, and People's Gas donated $1 for every pizza sold. Beverly Wogan says the program serves as a way to remind people of the importance of local businesses and charities. People have gotten away from supporting small businesses. They're on Amazon and uh, eBay, and, and the small business is what built our community. The program has also raised money for the Pike County Animal Shelter. Coming up at 11, a heart attack caught on a home surveillance camera has changed the plans for one Kentucky couple. See the dramatic video as they try to save a life. And those scattered rain chances continue this evening and a little bit into your Thursday as well. We'll break down that full forecast coming up in just a few short minutes.